Okay, let's be blunt about it. If I was a legend in TNA, I would not want Paul Heyman to walk in the door. I left the wrestling business December 4th, 2006. I have not done one convention. I have not done one appearance. I have not done one cameo. I haven't done anything in wrestling. TNA approached me several times in the past year. I didn't really take them seriously until Dixie Carter called. I can't tell you that I wouldn't be intrigued by the fact that I could have a vision play out on primetime cable network Spike TV two hours a week. Guys, if you're over 40, I'd chop your fucking head off. I, I don't want a bunch of guys in their 40s. God bless them. Thank you for paving the road. I want a guy that's coming into his prime, right. into his peak, so I can mold him, I can shape him. You give me beer money, the Motor City Machine Guns, AJ Styles, yeah. you, give me, you give me that X Division. It's all about the youth. It's all about a long-term investment. Where do you want to be in 15 years? Why not give them the main event spot? Why not promote them as the main event? Why not present them as the main event? Why not market them as the main event? Why not produce them as the main event? Why not position them as the main event? Why not educate your audience that that is the main event? And that if you buy this product, this is the progressive type of presentation we're going to give you that no one else can match. can't reach for the past. It's happened. It's gone. I, I spend my life looking forward because if I look back, there's someone else that is looking forward. It's going to go right by me.